Hey, Kermit Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight. We're going to redo some of the audio here on a great clip we did of me flying a P-51C. We had a few people made suggestions that uh, would have been nice to know what was going on. I point to a lot of things. So we decided to do this voiceover. I've taxied out. I'm sitting at the end of my runway. Got to pull my socks up, make sure I'm all ready for takeoff. Setting the throttle. Here I'm adjusting the uh, artificial horizon. Get that level, get the horizon level. Okay, checking flaps up. I got all the airs forward. I got the rudder trim set, elevator set, aileron trim is set. Mixture is rich, props full forward, throttle set. Checking all the switches in the right position. I got my boost pump on, got my mags on both. Checking my brakes right there with my feet. Checking the little red light up there, that tells me that the gear warning light is working. I push that to make sure it's working. And down there on the right is the hydraulic emergency hand pump. There we go, checking the oil temp, checking the coolant temp, oil pressure and fuel pressure, making sure everything is good. Bringing the throttle up. Once I get 40 degrees of uh, oil temp, I go up to 30 inches, which is basically field barometric. I pull the prop back, watch the RPM drop, push it back forward, it'll go back up. What I'm doing here is trying to get warm oil up into the propeller dome. Do it again, it drops, push it back up. So the prop is actually cycling the piston up there, which changes the pitch. I got my fuel boost on, fuel pressure is good. Checking the mags, one mag. The other mag, I'm looking for a small drop. And as you can see, I had about 2,300 to 2,400 RPM. Closing my right canopy, closing my left canopy. Checking the controls, ailerons and elevator, then the rudders for clear, all my trims. Make sure the uh, fuel's on the right place. There's the two fuel gauges. It's on the left tank right there. I looked down at the left fuel gauge. I kind of do like a left to right cockpit sweep. I've flown the airplane a lot. and. Uh, as long as I look at everything on the panel. Here we are taxiing out. There we go. That little thing up in the front there in the middle is the gun sight up on the, the dash with the reflective mirror. I'm doing a 360 here so I can look around for traffic. Stick back to lock the, uh, the tail wheel. Add the throttle. And you're going to probably see I use a little bit of right rudder here when I pick the tail up because we've got a lot of torque and the airplane wants to swing to the left. Here we are picking up speed, about 100 miles an hour or so, kind of lift off. Get some airspeed, everything's going good. I pull the landing gear up, back on the throttle, make sure it doesn't slip back. There's a throttle friction over there that I've adjusted, uh, so it shouldn't come back. And then if you saw that little red warning light up there, it was showing it was unsafe, but uh, the light goes off once the gear is up in the well, and it'll also go off when the gear goes down. Now I'm bringing the throttle back to 46 inches, and now 2,700 RPM, that's climb for a P-51, a Merlin. There we go, adjusting the rudder trim right there. I started off with six degrees of right rudder trim, and uh, now I've kind of, it's probably a little bit of right rudder trim because I'm climbing, but once it levels off, it will pretty much go to zero. Still climbing, 46 inches, 2,700 RPM. Let the speed pick up. I let the speed pick up a little bit. Let the, uh, the oil and the coolant temp. Now I'm coming back. I'm going to come back about 32 inches and uh, probably 23, 2400 RPM will be a nice cruise for this flight. There you go, 32 inches and 2400. Turn the boost pump off and I check the fuel pressure. It doesn't drop, so that's still good. Still adjusting that rudder trim there on the left. I got the ball centered, but I'm making a left turn. Checking all the gauges, which make sure all they're in the green mainly. Coming up on 900 feet on the altimeter there. Dropping a little bit because I'm going to make a pass. Coming down, there's Fantasy of Flight Runway straight ahead. Heading up to the north, so my heading on this runway is 040. Picking up speed. I'm doing the best I can to stay below the legal FAA limit. 
the FA doesn't want you to go above 250 knots below 10,000 feet. It's kind of a general rule. And of course, I would never do that. Yeah, I'm making sure I don't scrape the belly on the trees. People that are watching, this is an airplane of the day deal, so I make my flyby. I kind of have a standard pattern that I always do. I kind of want to show the top of the airplane, the bottom of the airplane, and uh, climb it up again, get a little bit of altitude. I'm pointing over at my blueberry and blackberries. There's some oranges down there too. Yeah, as I'm cruising around, I'm also kind of watching the engine temp and stuff. Flying out of fantasy flight, we don't really have any airspace restrictions. We've got Tampa International and Orlando International kind of on both sides of us. We're pretty much out of their airspace. There's nobody else around, so we don't really need to talk to anybody. Coming down my runway here again. And I'm going to show the top of the airplane, so I do a bank. Kind of like a, a photo pass, what they call that. A little bit turn to the left, and then I'm going to level off. Do a right turn. Check for other airplanes. Birds. There's our DC-3 road icon down there. Gee Willie, I saw him waving. I don't know if you noticed that or not. And I'm climbing up to an altitude to where I'm, uh, you know, well above the, you know, the houses there on the lake. Diving back for another pass. And this time I'm going to show everybody the belly of the airplane. And I'll swallow the bank to the left. Show the belly. I'll do a quick turn to the right. Clear the little camp there off to my left. And I'm going to do a big. Uh, Pretty much almost a little more than 270 and come around, come down short runway. Yeah, the top speed of the Mustang is 434 miles an hour at 25,000 feet. Normally the Mustang cruises about 245 miles an hour indicated. I love this Merlin engine. I think it has got to be the greatest sounder engine that was ever built. down the short runway. A little bit of an angle. Yeah, see a flight off to the left. And one up. I'll get some altitude and then I'm gonna come uh, come around for a low pass on the far side of the long runway for everybody. Power's pretty much stayed the same. Looking at all the temps. I can pretty much feel whether I'm, you know, slipping or sliding. You can look at the ball there on the turn and slip indicator, just to the right of the airspeed indicator on the bottom of the panel. So here I am coming down for my last pass. That little handle up there on the top is the canopy release to hop the left side down and the top over to the right. Pulling up sharp climb, and at some point here I'm going to turn the boost pump on, a little bit of flap to start slowing down, you see a couple of notches coming down, and then at some point once I get down to the gear speed, which is like 170 miles an hour, I will drop the gear, there we go, the gear is down, and I'm looking for the little red light to go off. And I'm looking for the pressure to come up. That'll tell me that it's locked, okay? And the light's off, so that's good. I still got a little bit of flap to go. So at this point, I've got the rest of the flaps to go and to increase the RPM for landing. Coming back, slowing down a little bit. Looking at my airspeed. There's a flap speed for full flap. You can actually put some uh, the first couple of notches down at a reasonably high airspeed. So the flaps are all the way down, pushing the throttle up to 2700 RPM, which would be my go around uh, RPM. I 
was pointing over there, there's a tower. I just rechecked the light to make sure the light was working. If it was on, I would have had an unsafe gear, but it's off, but I want to make sure the light's working. So you push the button onto the left there of the light and it tells you whether it's working on. I'm clearing the power lines, coming in over I-4, can you believe the legal FAA altitude to cross Interstate 4 is a whopping 17 feet. But anyway, I clear it by way more than that. Coming back, about 105, 10 miles an hour, 100 there, you know, three point it, slowing it down, slowing it down, three point, boom, I'm down. Okay, stick all the way back, keeping it straight with the rudder. You can't see where you're going, and what you do, you don't look out either side. If you look out the right side, you tend to go to the left. If you look out the left side, you tend to go to the right, turn the boost pump off, push the prop all the way forward, flaps coming up. There we go, open on the left side. Once I get uh, slow enough, I'm going to grab that big handle up there on the upper left, and I'm going to open up the whole canopy. So when you taxi, you have to S-turn back and forth so, you, so I can see in front of me. So I can see out to the right by turning to the left. Now I'm going to make a right turn. Just checking everything, reset the trim back to zero and the rudder back to five or six degrees right trim for the next flight. Kind of setting it up for the next flight. Now the way the tail wheel works, um, if you push the stick forward, and everybody wave to the crowd, if you push the stick forward, it unlocks the tail wheel. And if you pull it back a little bit, if you line the tail wheel up, it fits into a little notch and allows you to actually steer the tail wheel with the rudder. So uh, when I land, I always want to keep the stick back. But if I want to, at some point, you'll see me turn on the ramp here. I will push the stick forward. It'll unlock the tail wheel. There we go, push it forward. Now I'm steering with the brakes, making sure the ramp's clear, looking out for people, making sure everything's safe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open the canopy on the left and the top. Pretty much got a convertible now. Got the stick forward, so I'm steering with the brakes because I'm gonna spin the airplane around. So I'm just steering with the brakes. Okay, I'm turning the radiator and the old cooler doors off. Pushing the flaps down, flaps are going down. I'm setting up for uh, my next flight. Still got the stick forward. I'm steering with the brakes. I'm about to shut the engine off with the uh, mixer to go to idle cutoff. Engine's shutting down. Stop with the brakes. Boost pump off. Checking everything for my next flight. Pull out the hydraulic uh, release. Depressurize the system. Make sure that all the fuel is off. All right, another successful trip. Now I'm all ready for my next flight. After I release my four-point harness, I'm taking the parachute off, and now I am as free as a bird to go talk to all my Fantasy of Flight uh, patrons. Good, that was fun. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Life is good. I hope you all enjoyed this voiceover. I appreciate you all coming along.